James Bond movies. Uh, plus films like Thomas Crown Affair, Taylor of Panama, that was a good one too. His latest film was called The Laws of Attraction. It opens everywhere this Friday. Please welcome Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> See ya. It's good to see you too. Yes. Something's different. I can't quite place it. Something. Uh, quick now. Come on. Something. Come on. What is it? Top lip. Aha! Little that's facial it. Facial hair. A little facial hair. Then the mustache. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd do some character work. You know. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I thought you know, the first twenty years, just keep the same look, and then. Right. Right. As so you're going, going the next for the... 20 years, grow a moustache. Now, now, your wife, Keela, how's that go over at home? Does she... Uh... No, she doesn't dig it. She doesn't like it? No, no doesn't why? like it at all. What's, what's her complaint? I don't, I don't know, really. Um, uh, she just likes it uh, unshaven. Oh, okay. You know, the clean look. Uh, anyway, I'm doing a movie down in Mexico City. That's where I just uh, flew in from today. Okay. And uh, uh, Greg Kinnear and... Oh, cool. Hope Davis and myself. It's uh, so I'm playing a hitman. He's uh, having a nervous breakdown. Oh, so break. hitman have mustache. Uh, this this hitman does oh, have yeah. a mustache. Yeah, <laughs> Julian. Yeah. So there you go. All right. How are you? You all right? I'm fine. I'm Good. fine. Now, I knew you were just in Ireland when you shot this movie, Laws of Attraction. Right? Yeah, Laws of Attraction was shot in Ireland. It wasn't meant to be. The story takes place in New York, yeah. but uh, for budgetary reasons, we thought we'd go back okay. to the old side. And did you hang out? Did you, does the accent? Like when I go back to New England, like bring the car around, will you? I mean, oh, I did, oh yeah, oh it yeah. does. Well, that, well, I'm not from Dublin, but the Dublin accent. Is very strong, okay. you know. I yeah. mean, the Dublin sense of humor is very kind of biting and stuff like yeah. this. Uh, I was sitting in a pub one day and uh, I was having a quiet pint. It was on a Saturday, and uh, I was waiting for my bicycle to be fixed. <clears throat> and um, I was watching the horse races, and this kid came up and he said, "I just want to shake your hand." Put his hand out like this, and I shook it, and he looked at it, and he said, "This is the closest I'll ever get to Halle Berry's ass." <laughs> Very dry sense of humor. That's so lovely, that. Now, when you went to Ireland, did you bring the family with you? I brought my son, Sean. Okay. He was my stand-in. Uh, Sean's 20 years of age, so uh, he was stand-in for Dad and Gopher and uh, just general... He, is he going into show business? Does he want to be an actor? Yeah, he's at drama school. And, uh, oh, OK. He's, a, he's actually just got the part of Richard III. He's in his second year. Drama. Oh, well, you wouldn't get Richard the first. That's a later in life. Get the first, yeah. first one is with. So is that know. okay with you? You don't mind it? Because I, I meet a lot of actors. I don't want my kids anywhere near this. I want them to be, you know, surgeons mm. or something. No, I'm happy for him to be an actor. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a tough game, but I think he's got. Uh, I think he's got the guts to do it. I mean, you have to be as tough as old boots to play this game and to yeah. stay in it a long time. And I think he's got talent and he's got passion and humility. So. Were you insecure when you started out? Because <clears throat> you really knocked around quite a bit, right? Um, I, I did. I mean, I started when I was 18 years of age in theatre and education in South London and fringe theatre. And, uh, and at that time, it was uh, experimental theatre was really blossoming. Now, experimental theatre means you, you don't so, get paid. You, well, you, sometimes you get paid <laughs> and sometimes you don't. But uh, that's, that, that was the, the beginning of it for me. Yeah. And I was in this little arts lab. And in the arts lab, there were kind of there was, there were musicians and poets. Right, and, right. The Black Panthers were there, and there was a whole movement going on, which was like a hotbed of uh, theatricality. And so, you know, you had to be a pretty good actor to get in with the Black Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Well, actually, I worked on their shows. Oh, I used to do follow spot. Oh, yeah. You know, I did have their meetings and stuff like All right, that. Well, so, we'll, we'll take, let me take a break. More with Pierce right after this. Be right, right back. <laughs> Former Black Panther Pierce Brosnan, <laughs> Black Irish. So Black there you go. Oh, now, there. now you did street theater too. We were a fire eater. Did I read that one? I had a street theater company called Theater Spiel, and we yeah. used to do subway theater or tube theater, as they call it. Yeah. I, I learned how to fire eat. There was a workshop uh, in this arts lab, and uh, they were they were doing it, and I joined in. Well, so, how do you uh, learn? Like the first time, is it? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I mean, you just have your firebrand, you dip it in the kerosene, and uh, take a swig and blow it. Oh, I did okay. it on the Muppets a long time ago. Oh, it was okay. the last, the last okay. time I ever did it. All right, all right. And subway S theater. I, I, don't know, I know, like in New York, you would sit in the subway and sing because it would echo. But you were, at, were you on the train? Well, we would do kind of skits on the train. Uh, I did one once where I, I, I was kind of uh, some mad violinist. I had a violin and Wellington boots on and a, an Afro wig. That theme again, so, you know, the, whatever. 
That's it. Yeah, that's... So, it was kind of nutty. Uh, but it was a good time. I was about 18 years of age. And how often did you get beat up doing theater on the side? <laughs> I mean, people are coming home from work, they're exhausted. I, I never got beaten up. No, really? No. No, no, no not no. threatened at all? Did you get tips? Uh, yeah, sometimes you got money. They call that busking, don't they, in England? No, this wasn't busking. I mean, no. we're a kind of legitimate theater company, and we would do workshops for children in the community, and this oh, okay. was in South London. And one of the gigs was just... You know, it was a laugh just going on the subway, and sometimes you'd, 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 people would pay money to come with us. And it was all documented and kind of, it was a, okay. an exhibition done of it. Okay. You still play violin, by any chance? No, never did. No, just... no. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're telling me you're doing this movie in, uh, in uh, Mexico, Mexico City. Mexico City, you yeah. You know, Denzel Washington was here. He did, his Man on Fire has also done Mexico City. Yeah. And there were a lot of kidnapping. It's about kidnapping. It's, did you have that problem? Is it scary? When no, I don't know. Luckily, touch wood, I mean, nothing has happened, but, I mean, it's an edgy city. Yeah. And uh, there's a massive humanity there, yeah. and you have to have security. I mean, I go out and buy a pair of socks, and, you know, there's four guys tailing me. And you're in SUVs, which are armor-plated. Wow. Um, they're all different levels. Uh, I think we're on level five, which is steel-plated. The, th the windows are about that thick. And um, people little pieces and stuff like wow. that. But there's been nothing. I mean, that sounds very dramatic, but yep. you do need the protection. Yep. Um, but it's a great time. Was, it, was there a, a problem a with city. anybody in your crew? No. No one's had any problems whatsoever. Uh -oh. whatsoever. We have the most magnificent oh, okay. crew, and we've been, we've been brought into oh, people's okay. homes, and it's yeah, been, yeah. been nothing but graciousness. So. Oh, okay. But oh. there are bad guys out there, and there are people who are living, you know. Now, was Keely with you there? Was your wife with you Keely and the boys are at home. Oh, okay. it's, it's, it's too hard. This is a small kind of film. It's eight weeks. So. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> now, how did you guys meet? How did you and Keely meet, by the way? We met in Mexico. Oh, you met in Mexico? <laughs> yeah, met she in Mexico. kidnapped you? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I was there for the American Oceans campaign, Ted yeah. Danson. How is that? Oh, I did a thing for them. What's yeah, that? and I was down there with my boy, Sean, and I was about to... I was working on a picture. Yeah. Um, and he wanted to go to the swimming pool. It was about... 8 o'clock in the morning, he wanted to go swimming, so yeah. we went down to the swimming pool. And she was at the pool? No, she wasn't. There was nobody at the pool. I was sitting there reading my script. I was about to go off to Papua New Guinea and make a movie called Robinson Crusoe. He was in the pool. I was reading my script, and around the corner came this beautiful woman. I mean, it was a long, long, long walk. And so I sat there reading, and... Uh, you know, yeah, today, 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 how, how are you? <laughs> She went round. Very nice. And so I knew she was going to have to come back that way. Right. Lo and behold, she did. She I was still sitting back. there. And you did the same leering. Yeah, yeah. Came I back. did that. You see, if I did That's that, we would go, that pig over there. But see, you can get away with it. Were you uh, leering? I, uh, I wasn't leering, no, but it was... So how did you know this was the one? How did you know she was different? Because well, you, you know... didn't. I mean, I did. Oh. I don't think she did. I mean, okay. we just... There was a, there was a great attraction yeah. there. There was a wonderful meeting. Okay. Um, Did you enjoy being single? Um, it was a bit mad. It was a bit yeah. crazy. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd been married to my late wife for 17 years, right. and suddenly you go through a great tragedy and loss, and you've got to get on with your life. And I remember ending up with, you know, a pile of uh, women's numbers over here and a pile of psychiatrists and therapists over here. <laughs> okay. So I threw those away. And, okay. uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and then kind of thought, well... This Did you is, enjoy dating, or no, was it a no, nightmare? No, it was, was it like... I was mad. It was crazy. Yeah. You know, it was crazy. Then by then, I was kind of, you know, a bit known from TV, and so right. you, you, there's lots of game playing and stuff yeah. like that, so... Uh, <sighs> that so, wasn't fun. No, it wasn't. See, to me, I would use that. Fun. You know, I'm... Uh, oh. Remington Steele. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Oh, well. It had its moments, and I'm Jay. Going what to be can I say? James Bond. Did I mention that I'm James Bond? Come on, you now, see, Jay. That's what I, that's I, I, I haven't seen, I my, I seen my dear wife in six weeks. She's standing over there, and you're giving me a hard time. No, I'm coming home, darling. Okay. So, no, there you go. Now tell us about Laws of Attraction. It's about it's two, uh, it's it's two about, divorce attorneys. It's Julianne Moore and myself, two divorce attorneys in New York. Both are at the top of their game, and um, they meet each other. Yeah. He falls head over heels for her, and she's not having anything to do with him. Okay. But he is persistent, and um, they get there in the end. It's, it's an old-fashioned kind of movie. Now, I heard she, that, she works a little different. She's kind of a chatterbox in the oh, set of her. To, she, she likes to talk? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, there's kind of there's big scenes in it, six-page, seven-page scenes, yeah. and I like to kind of just, before action, kind of get into the groove. And you, you, you like quiet, she's talking. Julianne is there talking ten to the dozen, you know, talking about... Ten to the, the dozen? Ten to the dozen. <laughs> You know, <laughs> an old Irish expression. Right. So there you go. But right. uh, 
so. But you got along been, okay. That God, was I got not, on famously. I did loved, she do it to I, annoy I, you, I you think, after a while? Was, oh, was probably, it, was yes. It I mean, it was, once you knew yeah. it, kind of, you know, yeah. please, I'm trying to remember my lines. That was it. Yeah. So she was away. Now, what is the scene we're going to see here? This is, uh, is oh, this is well, in court. This is in the and court. And you, you guys have just had sex the night before. I believe so. It, believe yeah, so. I, I remember. I, yeah. I, I, I. <laughs> How do you forget something like that? All right, let's take a look.